Hi, I'm Dr. Hal Stewart with the Texas Center for Occlusal Studies and Minimally Invasive Dentistry. Minimally Invasive Dentistry and Biorejuvenation Dentistry is what we teach here at the Texas Center. And it's crucial that we are very accurate in every single step of the way. One place where some doctors get off, um, they get off track, is with their alginate impressions for their diagnostic models, for their models to do the wax ups. So today I want to just talk to you a little bit about impression trays. Oftentimes uh, when we teach our auxiliary courses and the auxiliaries bring their impression trays that they use in their office, they bring this type of tray. Uh, either metal or plastic with perforations in it, as you can see here. Uh, the perforations are made to hold the material, so it'll ooze out the perforations and then set up and the, the material will stay in the tray. The problem with this is that the, the chemistry in alginate, the way that it works is when you place this into the mouth, you want all the pressure to be applied towards the teeth and towards the gingival tissue so you get a very, very accurate impression. So we recommend the rim lock trays, metal rim lock trays. There is no perforations as you can see and when the, it's loaded with alginate and placed into the mouth, all of the pressure is directed upwards and inwards towards the teeth. After two minutes, the alginate sets, it's removed, and we have a very accurate impression. Now you may say, well, does that really make that much of a difference? When you're building occlusions to within eight to 10 microns of accuracy, like we teach here, every little step counts and must be accurate. So yes, it is very important for accuracy. And as we all know in dentistry, it's a very precise profession. So that's my tip for you today. And uh, if you don't have any of these metal rim lock trays, they're not that expensive. You can find that at any dental uh, supply dealer. Thanks and have a great day. TXCOS.com.